Have you ever wanted to selectively adjust your photo with Perfectly Clear? Using either linear or radial gradient, you can now apply adjustments to only part of your image. This is a very useful option whether you're shooting traditional landscape photos or stunning portraits. Think of these as gradual adjustments, which make them perfect to enhance skies or add a stylistic vignette. The easiest way to get familiar with the tool is to start by using presets. In the graduated filter controls, you'll find a preset list. Click it to see 10 great starting points. The first group uses a radio filter, which is perfect for vignettes. The second group offers traditional linear gradients that are well suited for landscape and travel photos. Let's start by choosing the heavy portrait vignette preset from the list. Now let's position the graduated filter to adjust the focal point of the image. After choosing a preset, click the Place Center button to move the gradient. The red dot indicates where the gradient originates from. If you like the results so far, but want a small tweak, you can reduce the effect of a preset or any graduated filter by using the blend slider. This is the easiest way to quickly reduce the strength of a graduated filter. Let's further customize a gradient by changing its shape. We'll stick with the radial gradient to start. The radial gradient is elliptical in shape and lets you adjust the inside and outside of the photo separately. Now let's adjust the shape. As you drag the transform controls, the gradient shows a red and blue overlay to guide you. Red is the inside adjustment and blue is the outside adjustment. Each control is quite useful for a precise adjustment. Shape. This controls the aspect ratio of the ellipse. The value of zero creates an ellipse with the same aspect ratio of your photo. Dragging to the left stretches the ellipse vertically and to the right stretches horizontally. Size. Use the slider to adjust the diameter of the radial gradient. A larger number means a bigger ellipse. Feather. This controls the amount of blending between the two adjustments. A higher value usually works well for a smooth transition. Rotation. If your subject is angled or you want to create a dramatic lighting effect, try angling the graduated filter for new looks. Now look below the transform controls to see tone, color, sky, and foliage controls. We'll explore these more in a moment, but let's refine the preset slightly. Let's decrease the exposure slider and increase the contrast slider for a heavier vignette. Let's now try out the linear gradient on a landscape image. The linear gradient offers the ability for adjusting two zones within your image. Click the linear gradient icon to switch to this tool. Like the radial gradient, use the place center button to control where the linear gradient focuses its effect. Now let's adjust the shape of the linear gradient. In this case, let's adjust the image so there's an adjustment being applied to the top of the image as well as one to the bottom. A small gap in the center leaves part of the photo unaffected. With the linear gradient selected, you'll see top and bottom controls. If you don't see the full controls, click the small disclosure triangle located to the right of these buttons. You'll find three transform controls to change the shape of the gradient. Size. Use the slider to adjust the center gap of the linear gradient. This makes it possible to adjust the top and bottom of the image while leaving the center unaffected. A value of zero is no center gap, while 200 is the largest. Be sure to explore this command when you want to let the previous edits show through. Feather. This controls the amount of blending between the two adjustments. A higher will blend the bottom to the top, while a low value produces a harder transition. Rotation. If your subject or horizon is tilted, try angling the graduated filter for new looks. To start, let's adjust the top of the image. Using the sliders, we can adjust the sky. The most useful controls here are color temperature. Try moving the slider to the left to cool down the sky. Exposure. This slider affects the overall image brightness. It is like opening and closing the aperture on a camera, which controls the total amount of light. 
Let's use the Highlights and Whites slider to refine the sky. Now let's try the Sky Enhance controls. These bring out the colors of the sky with several great presets. Now let's switch to bottom controls. A small adjustment to exposure helps frame the image. Now let's adjust contrast. This slider mostly affects the midtones. As you increase the contrast, the middle to dark areas will be darker and the middle to light areas become brighter. Effectively, this increases the difference between light and dark areas when you drag to the right. Now let's use shadows and blacks to refine the depth of the image. Lastly, Foliage Enhance lets you target the browns, yellows, and greens in an image to bring vegetation and nature to life. This adjustment works very well for landscape and travel photos. If you get the top and bottom or inside and outside mixed up, it's no big deal. Just click the double arrow in between the two buttons to swap values. For example, this makes the top adjustments apply to the bottom and vice versa. Be sure to watch more of our tutorials to completely master Perfectly Clear. Thanks for watching.